Okay, we're uh, try and slay the spire. So we're going to do a new profile because I have not played this game in like three years. <laughs> but they're coming out with a new thing, and Bill is the title that I use for all my Pokemon games and stuff. So don't worry, that's not a real name leak or anything. I'm um, this, have been be this, and will be this for all time. <laughs> Hey. So, there's a couple of things I like about this game, and there's a couple things I don't like. One, I don't like that you cannot play optimally easily. Two, I love that you can't play optimally easily. What do I mean by this? Well, you know how in uh, Just King I would go to every single elite get super strong, roll over the entire game. You can't do that here. You really can't. Instead, you have to decide, am I strong enough, am I not? And then that can lead you to not getting strong enough later, and then you lose. Another thing is that blocking is, uh, it's something, all right. So, I will always want to not take damage. However, the problem with that is, it's not always the best decision, which means this game is complicated, which is good. But it makes it hard for me to play optimally, and I want to play optimally. Of course, they weakened me. So I can either block 5 damage. Well, I can do both. So yeah. Uh, this is Slay the Spire. I should probably explain the game. You draw cards. You play cards with energy. You make enemies die. You have HP, you have relics, you have money, you have cards. Ooh. We could go insane with that, but I'm going to go with Pommel Strike. Now, one thing in this game is that you have to cut your deck down. You cannot just have a big deck. It will not go well. So I can play three of these, and it's effectively the same as blocking five damage, because I will be preventing five damage from being dealt to me. So this increases uh, damage taken by 50% to the enemies, so if I were to do this here, then this would deal nine damage, and eight plus nine would still be enough damage. But this costs two energy, so it's A-OK -okay for me to just do all that, and then I will take ten damage. Ow, my face. Because I am the Ironclad, I start with this relic, which makes that I heal HP. So now I have to choose. Do I want this strike in my next draw? No. So I'm going to draw it now so it's not in my next hand. Guaranteed, anyway. It could still be there, but it's not guaranteed. So I want to play two blocks per turn. Ideally. And then eventually get them low enough on HP that I can kill them. So next turn, if I draw three strikes, it's dead. I did. Kill. Yay. Get more money. So power cards stay for the entirety of combat. So that's an option. I'm going to go with Armaments because it is very efficient as a card, and you want to get that early. So this is a question mark space. There's a whole bunch of different options here. So I think I'm going to go with Upgrade Armaments because this upgrades all cards in hand for the rest of combat. And that is really strong. Now... Other people argue that the best option was removing a card because you can upgrade easily. 
So I'm the ironclad, so I'm A-OK -okay with losing HP. Till I get this thing. At the start of your second turn, gain 14 block. So that is going to be way more HP saved later on. So we can't afford any of these. These are one-time use potions, which are not bad. Do we want to go with a self-damage thing? I don't think so. Probably going to pick up dual wield and then card removal. We have an uh, extra pommel strike, a bass, so I'm going to remove a strike. Proceed. So now, do I think I'm strong enough to take on an elite? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll figure it out together, so. Okay. This is not the best situation, but we can do this. And he won't wake up. All right, three strikes is fine. So this guy, we cannot delay. We need to kill him. How do I like inspect a card? This adds two copies of something to my hand. Okay. Well, I'm going to armaments. And then I am going to bass. So next turn, I believe it's going to power up. And so we need to hit it very hard. No, it's attacked twice and then it powers up. Okay. So I'm doing that defense in the hopes that it doesn't prevent me from killing this thing. Okay. Hmm. That's not great. I didn't choose anything. Whatever, still works. Ah, so it doesn't buff itself, it makes me weaker. Okay, that's annoying. So I should be able to kill it this turn. That's 12 damage, that's 13. That would be 14 damage. Okay, so I'm not going to die here. I'm just going to get very, very close. There. Whenever you lose HP, gain 3 block next turn. Okay, so the game does want me to go on a self-damage build. Hmm. Taking that. You got 38 money, which isn't a lot to buy much. Huh. I think I'm ignoring those options. Question marks can be fights, they cannot be elites. Okay. 
Okay, let's go ahead and remove another strike from the deck. We're going to head this way. Grab this campfire, heal, uh, and then I guess go up here and then choose whether we want to do more elites, more campfires, or more question marks. Probably more campfires to upgrade more things. Okay, that's not bad. Birdman. Hi. So this is ethereal, which means it is going to disappear because I did not play it. So he's dead. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Horn Cleat. Hmm. Could go for a vulnerable build. Hmm. Sir, sure, that's kind of the only direction we have right now. So, uh, there's the... Hold on. So there's the goblin who we would definitely die to. There's one other elite that I don't remember very well. Uh, this is on, oh, I don't know if that carried over. It did not, fast mode, please. hitting me. I need my bones, you assholes. Die. Apply weak. Apply vulnerable. That will do. Plus it's some AoE, which in case it wasn't clear, we kind of lack that. So we can go here. For guaranteed upgrades, or we can go up here and figure stuff out. We're kind of screwed against the Guardian, and the cards we have right now aren't helping, so... I... We need to kill that guy before he steals all my money. So that's 18 damage, so I'm taking one right now. We need to make sure this guy dies, because you are not stealing all of my money. Get out. Regen potion is nice. If we are going for that type of build, we should grab that. Hmm. Did we play this twice? No, that wouldn't work. Yeah. That's 13 damage, which is not enough to actually kill you. 
Wait, you had 12 HP. This is 13. Die. Yay. Okay. Skipping there. Yes. We are choosing to not add anything there. I think we can make it through this just fine, especially with the regen potion. So you'll notice this is literally just better bass. Okay. I want that later, so I'll do that. The weekend's going to do a lot more for me, so bonk. Even if I do take some damage for that. Yeah, I want more basses in my deck. to extend the length of vulnerable. Do we let that burn? I think we do. Do we kick his ass, or do we defend ourselves? Well, we know next turn he's doing the whirlwind, so this is basically just block next turn. Anyways. I'm gonna defend myself a little bit. But yeah, we are fully defended for this turn, so now we can pommel strike, drop kick, thunderclap, strike, and then next hand, hopefully we have just a bunch of drop kicks. If you had asked me if I thought this was the build we were going for, I would have called you silly. And yet here we are, vibing. I can take this. Or an early feed, but I don't think we have the consistency for that. Well, it is an early feed. Nope. We're going with this. Extra energy per turn is OP. You no longer see enemy attempts. At the end of turn, you no longer discard your hand. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. 
we can infinite loop with this. We can infinite loop with this. If we get enough drop kicks shuffled in the deck, we can infinite loop with this. We need to slim our deck. Pray we don't get the timekeeper. Okay, sops. That's perfect. Perfect for what we're looking for. Early sops. Let's go. Birds. I am not having it with you today. And we can just keep this in hand. So we don't need to worry. We can always use it on dropkick. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's see. If we do this now, it's not going to end well. Uh, what do you uh, level up into? No, I'm trying to view the damn card. Uh, there. Do, do. Gain one vulnerable. Mm. Maybe way later in the fight, but not right now for certain. Oh, we have, like, fully defended. Okay. So we can just punch people, and that'll be fine. Okay. Hmm. So we do this, obviously. And in case you didn't know, they're flying. So they receive 50% less damage. But uh, you hit them enough times and they fall to the ground and they're stunned. And don't do anything. So we do that for free. We thunderclap. We berserk. And then we hit you twice. So, now we thunderclap. We drop kick. You die. We... We really... I need to remember to goddamn dual wield more often than I am. So if I armament block block, what does that get me? That gets me five for you. Eight and eight. Which is enough. So, now, we hit you three times, drop you. We can pommel strike here. Goes the armor. Yes, you do etherealize out. Which is something we can start counting on, is making sure that we uh, get the ethereal cards out. So, oh yeah, and we have four energy per turn. I'm going to keep forgetting that. So I need to analyze what we have going on. Rather than worrying about what we don't. I am recording, right? Yes. Worry about the things you can't control. Also me, two seconds later. Wait, I am recording, right? There and there. Okay. So here on out, we want ethereal cards. And... what well, we want exhaust cards. Cards that leave our deck. Okay, choose one of 20 cards. We want more drop kicks. So these get more expensive the more of these that you do. 
So, let's see. We really just want to remove the bad cards. And in this case, we can remove a defend, get down to those. And if we could just exhaust all of the cards, that is basically a free combat. If we do this, then we can just cycle and kill a person. So given that... <sighs> When's our next stop? Like one space away? <sighs> Fine. I'll save it. For now. Question mark space. Mm. Sorry, noodles. Somebody had to pay, though. So, do I think I'm ready for this yet? Yeah, sir. What's the worst that could happen? It's a knife. Currently dealing eight damage. That's not ghost the armor, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to drink this now. It's not going to be enough, but it's going to be something. Because yeah, this thing just starts dealing more and more damage, which is not good for me. So we uppercut you. And then, do we armaments now? No, we wait. I don't think we're keeping that, so... We'll play that. That's a raw 15 damage. So we have six cards in deck. I am going to... Armaments. Berserk. Block. Block. Now I am going to... Dual wield. Drop kick. I'm going to Do I uppercut or do I thunderclap? I'm going to uppercut. Drop kick. Drop kick. Drop kick. Drop kick. And then Block. Yeah, yeah. So these wounds are going to get stuck in my hand, so I am going to need to figure out a way to stop that from happening, because that will be really bad later. So... I think here it is. Defend. Defend. Bass and turn. So here it is going to be an 
uppercut, a dual wield on drop kick. And that's 13 damage, so we're one off from killing it. And even if we draw another drop kick with that, that's not going to do anything. So we're going to block what damage we can here. Stab it. Alright, not bad. Start each combat with thorns. Not terrible. I don't want any more cards in my deck. I am a thin deck boy. Okay. Ghostly armor. Thunderclap. And then we have another drop kick, so I'm fine with spending this now. Do I berserk and intimidate? I berserk and intimidate. So those basically cancel each other out there. Pommel strike. Bass. Uh, we keep this drop kick, that way we have it for... Whenever you play a non-attack card, suffer a daze. Well, buddy, I think you're dead. So each of these is seven damage. I believe if we... Armaments. Drop kick. Drop kick. Drop kick. Uppercut, you die. Hmm. <laughs> uh, armaments, berserk, strike you. We're gonna need to get through this quick. Good news, we have most of our setup. So, I am going to intimidate. I am going to uppercut. I am going to pommel strike. Both of our drop kicks and thunderclap are back there. So, I am going to use a regular defend because, well, we need to get it out of hand. So now, what we do is we thunderclap, we dual wield a drop kick, we double drop kick that guy, we single drop kick that guy, we drop kick this guy, we get back dual wield, we dual wield drop kick, we drop kick this guy, We block. And now we thunderclap. We stab. We block and we block. Now we uppercut, drop kick, drop kick, drop kick. Drop kick. Nice. Ooh, that's tempting. Yeah, the sooner we get that going, the better. Whenever you rest, heal additional HP. We don't plan on resting anymore. We plan on killing people. Mm. So we're not going to get anything special because we're just going to offer a basic... Uh, block here, I think. Yeah. Sneko. Bass. Drop kick. 
pommel strike. So now costs are going to randomize, which means that kind of our entire strategy goes to hell. It says two copies. Are they going to be two cost copies? They are. That's unfortunate. So I can play this, take 50% more damage. Whatever. I'm going to armaments. Are these randomized when drawn? I think they're randomized when drawn. Which is unfortunate. We're going to play that just so it's out of hand. Yeah. So we are going to weaken you. Play a minimum one drop kick. Play a free strike. Defend and intimidate. Alright. So we play free armaments. We play drop kick. Drop kick. Drop kick. And then you just die from hitting me. That's basically our defense right now, is the weaken. Ooh, this is going to be an interesting fight. Okay. Let's see, we're going to do this. This. I think I'm... F yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to stab you once. Ow, my bones. So now we go berserk mode. We bass you in the face. Then we start drop kicking you. So this is four damage to all enemies and make them vulnerable. Which is what I want, but I want an armaments first, that way I can buff that. So for now, I am I would like to play the ghost of the armor, but I know I can't. So we're going to do this. Oh, we actually can't play the ghost of the armor because we're waiting on armaments for that. So we'll keep that around. Okay. Hmm. This is worrying, but we got this. So apply weaken to everybody. Am I okay taking 18 damage? Yeah. So he's gonna try and resummon this turn. We're not going to let him. He's dead next turn. Yeah, get on out of here, little guys. We are 40 minutes into this somehow. Elites have 25% less HP. Okay, that I can work with. I could work with this. It's a little bit more AoE. It's basically going to insert they stay. I think we're fine. Even if it's exhaust, I think we're fine. I think I am going to take... I mean, this is basically HP positive, thanks to the self-forming clay. 
but I don't think it fits with what we want. I think I'm going to take this because it's already upgraded. It's a power, so it's not going to stay in our deck. And if we need to, we can uh, use it. Mm. Well, that's worrying. So you require getting hit a whole bunch. So you kind of fit with what we want to do. Let's see. Well, that's kind of really good, but so is this. That's just more drop kicks. I'm using that. I'm using this. And I guess I'm using this. Figure it out. Okay, so... We have 14 armor right now. You're not weakened. So in theory, if we play this and this, then it'll cancel back out to 12. We kill this guy, and uh, then everything's good. So, let's do that. We gotta do this kind of last. That way we can see if we get... Our upgrade card. We have not gotten our upgrade card. So we intimidate you back down to doing what you were before. We play this because it's basically free. We do this to make you vulnerable for next turn. And then we're going to kill you. We're gonna play this. So at the end of your turn, gain four blocks. So we could do that if we need to. But for now, we're just going to drop kick this fool. Okay, I don't think we need the metallicize. I think we're gonna do all right. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to think about it as much as I was there. Take that for draw consistency. Start each combat with this in hand? Okay. We're picking that specific drop kick, and then we're going over here. We're going over to Smith, and then we're upgrading this. So that we always have this in hand. So this is the champ. I forget what you do, Duck King. But I know that it's nothing good. Hmm. Sir. Well, this is just going to stack it, so it really doesn't matter when I play this. All that matters is that they get played at some point. Now, while I would like to dual wield the upgraded version, it is not in my hand, and it won't be for a while, so... Uh, it's fine. Unless...
So I know once he gets to half HP, he gets upsetty spaghetti. Okay, uh, there should be an option here somewhere. I mean, I guess that works. Yeah. So we're at nine cards, max is 10. This increases it by that amount. So what we want to do is... I guess play a regular strike here. Then dual wield the drop kick. As long as I have room in hand next turn, I will draw the other drop kick. But you can imagine if we removed these defends and these strikes, we could literally just drop kick him to death. <laughs> uh, and that would be hilarious. So yeah, right now he's doing his super buff up. Because we got him to half HP. So yeah. As long as we keep the vulnerable on him and we keep putting all of these in our deck, we're going to do fine. I hope. I would rather not die. Oh, he cleansed his debuffs. That's scary. Get back to being weakened, you, so that even if you do hit me, you don't kill me. Because killing me is not okay. It's in the handbook. You're not allowed to. <laughs> I mean, draw really isn't the problem here. But I guess starting with this early on would be okay. Plus, I mean, it's free. Plus, I mean, you know. We'll take it. Earning blood, double the effectiveness of pose. No, 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 no. We're taking this, I guess. Okay, that's not the time eater. That's not the time eater. We have a chance in fucking hell. Okay, which path has like the most sops? I'm seeing two up here, along with an elite. Along with a question mark, along with a lot more question marks. So, yeah, we're just going this way. Cool. Cool. Whew. Okay. Hmm. You get very annoying very fast, but here we are. Hmm. Mm. No damage to me. Mm -hmm. Then I guess we play this. And I guess we play this. Bonk you. Mm. So now we... Thun... We... Armaments. 
We thunderclap. We drop kick. We berserk. And we strike. And then now we play ghost the armor. We play uh, both intimidates to get them out of hand. This isn't really going to help us too much because uh, situation. Uh, then I guess we can defend plus and then we can bass. And now we can ghost the armor. We can uppercut. Uh, we can... Pommel Strike. We'll get uh, armor next turn, so this is fine. We end turn. He's up to nine armor. We do this. We do bass. We win! Mm. <laughs> I mean... If all of those are drop kicks, that would be insane. Exhaust one card, draw. Oh, we need this. We need this because this gets cards out of our hand permanently. I think that may have just won us the game. Reduce the cost of a random card in your hand to zero for the combat. That is busted if we hit this on the thing. Uh, let me, uh, like, how do I, what's the fucking button to, like, view card? Like, space is in it, select card is in it. No. Well, I'm not getting cursed, and I don't want to lose that, so I guess we're taking madness. No, 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 no. Maybe, 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 maybe. I mean, I could if I wanted to, because the boss could just die. We're 53 minutes in.
I think he doesn't attack next turn, so I think I would be fine if I played this, but just to play it safe, I am not going to. I am going to play this, though. I'm fine with him gaining one strength. Maybe I shouldn't have been as fine with that as I thought. Okay, we can go infinite with this. We can definitely go infinite with this now. We just need to recycle zero cost of drop kicks into our drop pile, and we need to burning pact in order to get uh, non drop kicks out, and then we win because we will just infinitely drop kick and kill. That's energy positive now. You understand the implications of being energy positive. So we are saving this for the zero cost version. Until then, thunderclap, uh, drop kick. Drop kick. Drop kick. So we want all of these to be available in hand at this point. Go ahead. Berserk. See what the fuck happens. Because we might be able to go infinite from here. Dual wield. Zero cost drop kicks. Get me my energy back. Make sure these are all in the discard pile. Is everything else that? No. Okay. Do that. Burning Pact. Get this strike out of here. At this point, we can armaments just to upgrade the pommel strike so we get extra draw. Uh, drop kick. Drop kick. Drop kick. I don't think we even need dual wield anymore. Drop kick. Drop kick. Drop kick. Drop kick. Is everything here a drop kick? It is, except for burning pact, which we can use to burn more stuff because we have positive energy now. So drop kick, drop kick, uh, pommel strike. Burning pact, get bass out of here. We win. GG's. <laughs> so I think now once we redraw that bass, I can just click or press the 9 button on my keyboard and just infinite. So now everything is drop kick, so 9, click. Yeah. <sighs> six, six, nine damage. I couldn't have asked for anything more. Floors climbed 195, enemies slain 24, Exordium elites killed one, City elites killed two, Beyond elites killed zero. Because I didn't even climb the number of floors I was supposed to. 
<laughs> Bosses slain 3, speedster 25, perfect 50, c combo 25. <laughs> and we didn't even have all the cards unlocked. <laughs> uh, new character, the silent. Woo! All right. You guys can probably tell these episodes will be long because I think way too hard about stuff. So these will probably be like an hour to an hour and 30 minutes. But we have played our first Ironclad run. And we won. With dropkicks. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Woo!